Hey guys, welcome to Chaos Cortex. So this is going to be a little bit of an update video slash vlog, um, just updating you guys on the channel and um, just kind of letting you know what's going on. So first of all, I would like to apologize if the audio quality is terrible um, in the video. Maybe, I don't know, I'm shooting this on a cell phone with a selfie stick. So um, hopefully I'm framed up okay, I can't really tell, but um, I know the audio on these isn't great. So just bear with me for a little bit here. So if you follow me on Twitter, um, you may have noticed I've been a little absent this week, um, and that is mostly due to um, remodeling this room that I'm in here. And that is actually why you guys are getting this video right now. Um, because normally I would be posting a 3D printing video, um, like my new model for the week, and I was planning on that, but this remodel has been taking a little bit longer than I would have liked, and I don't really have a space to record right now. So I'm gonna postpone that video, um, which is the Planet Express ship, if you watch the preview in the Baby Dory video, um, to Monday. So it's not that far away, but it will technically be next week. So I apologize, um, but there will be no new model this week. And then next week we're going to get back on track because I'll have this new space to work in. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of topics to cover in this video, and I don't want to make it too long, so I'm going to kind of rush through them a little bit. So uh, the first big news is my set will be changing. The videos will look different behind me. Um, because I have moved into a different room in the house, and that's what we've been doing this week. We've been repainting it, um, which this was a horrific purple color beforehand. But we've been spending the week painting it, um, painting the trim, replacing all of the outlets, putting up new light fixtures, um, painting the door and replacing the, the handles and stuff on the door. Basically uh, turning the room upside down to make it better. And hopefully this new room will help me um, stay on track and uh, get caught up and be able to um, make a little bit higher quality videos for you because I'm trying to set it up to be optimal for that. So if you're interested in seeing what this room is going to look like, stick around to the end of the vlog. I'll put a quick little tour um, so you can see the whole thing. And then the next thing I owe you guys an update on is um, sort of the state of the channel and where I'm moving with that. So you may have noticed that I am pretty much doing one video a week now, where previously I did three videos a week, and then I had that weird period in there with Wally where I was just working on update videos for him. Um, but now that Wally is over, I'm focusing on getting back. But I took a good hard look at my analytics and my video views and you know where I was gaining subscribers, where I was losing subscribers, and just generally where you guys seem to be the most interested. And by far those are the 3D modeling videos. Um, which is like my main model every week that my wife paints up and everything. And my other videos got considerably less views. Um, oftentimes, you know, a fourth of the views. And these vlogs actually got even less than that. Which, all of that is fine. I just want to bring you guys the best channel that I can possibly bring you. And not kind of clutter it up with um, all my other video ideas and stuff like that. Because it seemed like every time I put out a vlog or um, something that was less related to what I normally do. Um, I would lose subscribers and stuff like that. Not a large amount, but enough. I'm really trying to focus the channel, focus on making those videos and making those models as good as I can. And unfortunately, those models take a really long time to make um, and then print out and get, have my wife paint them. So I have to start the process um, ahead of time. And I'm trying to get uh, ahead a little bit so I'm not making the model having my wife painting it basically a week before the video goes up because that's just stressful for both of us and not good. So only having one video a week, which is that 3D print video, will allow me to focus all my time and energy on that and then try to improve the quality of those videos as well to make them more interesting. If you do like these vlogs and um, like hearing what uh, personally I'm thinking and stuff like that, most of that will now be on my Twitter account. So if you don't follow me there, Follow me there, at Chaos Cortec. Um, I'm going to try to be a little more active on there. That's where you'll see most of the behind-the-scenes stuff. So there will be no more vlogs on this channel for a while. So then going a bit deeper into the focus of the channel. Um, if you've stuck with me for a while on this channel, you'll know that I kind of um, go through phases on this channel because a big thing for me is trying to improve. Because there is a lot of room for improvement in what I do and just about all aspects of what I do. And so I really want to focus on a part of that at a time, get better at it, and then um, move on and try and improve in other things. So when I first started the channel, I didn't really have a direction. I was kind of all over the place. And so since then, I've kind of narrowed and I figured out that 3D designing is what I wanted to do. So um, that was my first real focus. 
was learning how to model because I'd never done it before. So as I was learning to model, another thing I focused on was um, being comfortable on the camera. This is a little weird for me. I think it's weird for most people when they first start it. So um, I thought in order to do that, just make as many videos as I can while maintaining the quality that I think I can. Um, and so I landed on three videos a week and that's why I was making three videos a week. Um, I wasn't doing that to try and push numbers or anything like that. Um, it was really just to get better at making videos. And then once I started actually um, gaining some traction with modeling and creating some cool things, I was using Tinkercad at the time, I started to feel the limitations of Tinkercad. So then I really moved into the second focus area for my channel, um, and that was learning Fusion 360 and taking my skills to the next level, um, making better models. So I worked at that for a while and got really comfortable in Fusion 360, but I knew that I needed to start learning the sculpting tools to make organic models, so that's where I focus next. And I also changed up the format of my videos to make them a little bit more palatable. Um, you know, they're, they're a little bit shorter and hopefully they're a little bit more interesting. Less of me talking, more of showing the process and the end result. And all that pretty much lands me where I am today. So what's my next focus? Um, I have gotten to the point where I'm starting to feel the limitations of Fusion 360. And I don't think it's anything inherently wrong with Fusion 360, but ultimately, I'm trying to create 3D models, like sculpture type models, um, and a CAD program. And that's not ideal, because CAD programs are definitely built um, to create mechanical things and stuff like that. And while Fusion 360 has excellent features to let me break out of that, um, I think I need to move on from that and learn something that's actually geared towards full 3D modeling. And unfortunately, I don't have um, much money to spend in this department, so I am going to be using Blender, which is a free application that um, is extremely powerful but very hard to learn. So that'll be my next step. Um, it'll probably be a slow transition, so some of my models will still be done in Fusion 360. And along with that, I really want to take my models to the next level. Um, right now I'm pretty much just printing little figures, um, toys, things like that, um, and that's fine. Uh, I like that but I kind of want to get a little more artsy with them. And so I'll still be making like the, the characters that I make now, but I'm just gonna try and take that to the next level. So actually posing them in some sort of cool way, um, creating a base for the models. So um, they'll actually stand on something if you want them to, and then working in some effects. Like I really wanna try to um, model things like fire or water um, lightning, things like that, that could really make um, these models dynamic. And, um, you know, that's that's something that's not really been done a lot in 3D modeling, because those things are normally dealt with um, by effects and particles. And so actually making those things 3D and, um, you know, bringing them out into a statuesque type thing like that can be difficult. Um, but that's what I'm hoping. I'm just going to be experimenting with it. So I hope that type of thing interests you. Um, moral of the story is I'm just really trying to make these as as good as they can. And I'd really like to get to the level um, that these models could be considered something professional. Also, I want to get back into making more props. Um, I love doing things like Thor's hammer and stuff like that. Unfortunately, those just take a lot of time for my wife to finish. And, you know, splitting them up and printing all the pieces take a long time as well. So that's why I haven't done them for a while. But I'm definitely going to get back into that. I've got some really cool ones planned. So look forward to those. After this phase, once I feel more comfortable making better models and stuff like that, um, I really want to get into helping you guys design. That's a huge passion of mine. And part of the reason that I keep the channel going the way it is, um, is I just, I want to help people design because there's so many people that have 3D printers. And I think there's a lot of people that would really like the design aspect of it, but it's hard to get into. And um, I think people have a misconception that you have to be super talented to do something like this. And while that helps, um, I don't think I'm anything special. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I think I can help people and teaching them how to do it and things like that. So that's gonna be my next big focus. That'll probably be next year though. I'm thinking about running some contests, um, some design contests where people submit models to me and I'll pick a winner and maybe even have my wife paint one of the models that people send me. And then um, we'll have prizes and everything, send them out to the winners. Because I think that could be a good way to get people um, excited about modeling. And then something a little more specific um, along the lines of the models that I make um, I get a ton of requests for Pokemon. 
And I love Pokemon. I love creating Pokemon. I like all of it. Um, and I like creating other things as well. So I want to do both. And I know that some of my viewers really like Pokemon and some of them don't. And there are a ton of Pokemon. I think there's 720 some of them now with likely uh, more than 100 more coming this fall. So I don't want this channel to be just Pokemon, but I definitely want it to be a part of it. So I think I'm gonna start doing Pokemon in batches. So um, I'll create multiple Pokemon and they'll just be part of one video. But we'll see where that ultimately lands. Oh, and actually there was one more thing. Um, I posted a filament review recently and um, reception was pretty positive, um, but I did have a couple people express concern that they didn't want my channel to um, go in that direction, that, um, you know, there's a lot of other channels that do film reviews and 3D printer reviews and talk more about the technology side of it um, than the design side of it. And these people all really cared about my channel and approached this in a very positive way, um, but they just legitimately wanted to show concern. And I completely agree. Um, that was just something that I had never tried before. Uh, you know, I'd never really done a filament review and I'd really only used like two types of filament. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. See if I can do anything interesting with it. And I, I had fun a little bit doing it, but I don't think I'm gonna do any more filament reviews um, unless there's some sort of crazy filament that comes out that no one else seems to be using or something like that. I don't know, but um, I don't plan on doing any more filament reviews. Now, 3D printer reviews, on the other hand, I will do a little bit. Um, if I buy a new printer, I'm going to do a review on it. Um, and if a company reaches out to me and says, hey, we're going to send you a printer, you can keep it if you do a review, I'm probably going to do that as well. I'm not going to let it get out of hand. So this channel is not going to turn into that. Um, but, you know, occasionally every few months or something like that, you might expect to see a printer review based on how many people are reaching out to me. I actually did have a company reach out to me and they sent me a printer, which, which I am testing right now. So there will be a review video coming of it in the next month or so. Um, but like I said, don't, don't expect that to be the norm. Just be aware it will be there sometimes. The focus on the channel is definitely the models. Um, but if I can get another printer that will help me print things faster, print bigger projects faster, you know, I'm definitely going to do it because that helps the channel. But yeah, I just don't want you guys to worry that my channel will turn into something like that because it's not. And I've already said no to a couple of offers um, for me to review things that I just don't think would fit on the channel. So I'm definitely not afraid of saying no. But if something comes along that I think will help the channel, I'm going to do it. Okay, well, I know this video has been way too long, so thank you for sticking around. Um, if you have any concerns, feel free to comment below. I will address them. Um, you can also tweet me, anything like that. And, you know, I'm definitely open to suggestions. I mean, you guys are as much of a part of this as I am. So I'm never just going to state something and be like, nah, this is the law, this is the way I'm doing it. I'm always open to your guys' suggestions. Um, and if you see me doing something that you think I'm heading down a, a bad path, definitely let me know because, um, you know, sometimes being involved in this, it is hard to see that. So, so I really appreciate all you guys' feedback. I would prefer the constructive variety. I've had a couple people post that, we're just like, you're a fucking idiot. I'm just like, okay, that doesn't really help me, you know? <laughs> I, I can't take and work on that, I don't think. Because they didn't tell me exactly what they weren't happy about, so I just delete those comments and move on because I don't want to see them. So if it's constructive, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I will leave you with a preview of the room. Okay, guys, time for the grand reveal. It's not finished yet, but this is what we got so far. First of all, this is the door. It is black, which I like dark doors and white trim. Um, it was my wife's idea, but I really like it. And I don't know why, but I like these handle style doors better than the knobs. Oh, just personal preference, and I like the silver, so I feel fancy. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. All right, so this is the room. It is painted, no longer purple. You can see that um, that is the accent wall over there. This guy right here, and this is the rest of the room. Um, pretty much the only feature in here right now is my desk. I literally just got my computer set up. Also Riley, I took the time to set up him too. And there's a bench over there for storage that'll probably move, but that's where it is right now. We got some nice curtains. We even replaced all the power outlets with some nicer ones. 
and the closet still got junk in it but um, we'll clean that up and we're actually putting curtains over this instead of a normal closet door and then we're gonna have some storage in there and it'll look way nicer than this but and then possibly one of the coolest things about this room is boom look at those lights they're all adjustable and I can slide them if I need to so I can point them anywhere um, I'm hoping that'll help me with filming but not only that we added a dimmer switch here, so. so this is if I want to make the room feel sexy, look at that. And then you might be wondering what is left for this wall, because right now it's completely bare. So what we're doing is I'm going to get a standing desk, and then um, just a small one, and then I'm going to get some bookshelves, I think, and put them on the wall, and they'll have individual um, spaces where I can put all of the things that I create. And then that way I can stand in front of the desk, film me, and then that stuff will be behind me. And then I might do some like prop stuff on the wall um, and just try to make it look as nice as possible, showing off the things I've done on the channel. And um, it'll be kind of cool because each of the squares can kind of have their theme once I've got enough of something. So like I'm pretty sure Pokemon will be one of the first ones. But I thought that was pretty cool, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys.